Welcome to www.readymateproject.com. This uh, online asset management system project is uh, developed in SQL Server and Visual Studio. It is an ASP.NET web-based project where any uh, organization can manage their assets basically. So for this project, we have to install uh, SQL Server and Visual Studio latest version of both the things. So first we will uh, configure the database for this project. To configure, you have to install SQL Server and Management Studio. Okay, so I will just first start the uh, SQL Server Management Studio and connect the database. So I am using SQL Server 2014 for this particular uh, project. It will start the SQL Server Management Studio, then you have to connect the database. So you can use both the options, like you can use the script file database script and create the database or you can distort the database from backup file. Both the file we have provided here in DB folder. So now I will use that script file database. Just copy this uh, path and you have to create one database, e-online asset. Just copy it. First, you have to connect your database. So, database and create a new database. In the online asset, click OK. So select, right click, new query. Click file open file. You have to select this file, db script file. So copy this part. This db script file open. Now here you will get all that create table and insert statement. So you have to just execute this uh, script. Click on execute. It will create all the tables here with the sample record. Okay. Now here you can see that uh, login details also, right, user, like this one. So you can use this ID for login, okay. Now the database part is over. Now I have to start the Visual Studio. So Visual Studio, whatever version you have installed, just click and start the Visual Studio. Here yeah, you have to just open that source folder. Just click copy. Now go to file, open website. Just the path, click on it. Now here you have to change only the connection stream. Just open that web config file. Okay, this is the connection stream. So this already you have uh, keep the same name database e online asset. This one the fixed one now the data source. Again same way you can just go to the your database and copy the name. Just change this. Save this file. Now if you want to change anything in that uh, copyright section like develop by your name. Save it. Save database. Default page. Click on run. You have to log in with your ID and password. So you can just check in installation with the directory which is there. One with one and one. So you just put. Now, here you can just uh, change your, like, uh, I want to add a new asset type. So, I will add, like, the laptop. So, I want to add the mini laptop. Yeah. 
now I want to add a asset. Okay, so I will just put select the asset type new laptop, like new normal laptop or IBM. model serial number quantity how much you have listed so I have listed two quantity and you to submit where it is added now I can uh, give this asset to any department in the organization. So it is already department is there or any in a room also in the, in the department. So this is a room ID. So I want to say create one uh, room for IT. So I will just create room number. Room number say R0015. And which department is in say IT location. So in my submit. So new department is added. Okay. Now I want to ask, uh, issue the asset to this room. So I just go to the issue asset. Room number, this one that I have created. IT department asset. Now I have created size of laptop. I have two uh, quantity. I will issue one for this uh, room of this department add. Now we submit. Now if I go to stock it hand, now it will show that this laptop, I have two laptops and it will show only one is my current service, only I have issued. Now if I go to the asset register also it will show, like room number R015, it will show this one and I can receive that uh, asset. So the report is coming or if I go to that receive asset. This asset is trying to show how, what is the asset is there in this uh, particular uh, or if I go to that receive asset say room number 15 it will show one asset is available in this room. If I click receive it will show the details like how many already I only one is available so I have to click one. If I said two or three so check in different Whatever is available, you can receive. So you can say click on receive. Now if I go in stock in my end, it will show two is available because two is opening and two is kind of because I have already taken that. This is the project, so you can just add the assets and you can issue to any department, then you can track all the assets, whatever the room, what asset is available.